Welcome back to Albatross Barbecue, everybody. Thank you for tuning back in. The time has come for me to hang some ribs in my Pit Boss Barrel Smoker. I cannot wait. Stay tuned. This is going to be epic. The Pit Boss Champion Barrel Smoker comes with this hanging rack. It doesn't come with those hooks, so you've got to buy those separately. My rub today is going to be super simple. Pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, plenty of paprika, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. Then I'm going to turn my attention to the ribs. And of course, first things first, let's get that membrane off the back. Anybody watching this has probably cooked plenty of ribs in the past. So as you know, just get yourself a butter knife and then just lift it up. Binders, you can use Worcestershire sauce, olive oil, or mustard. I prefer mustard, it's just my preference, but you can use whatever you want. Just make sure you give it a good coating so your rub can stick to your ribs. Now you don't wanna overpower your ribs, up to you, but for how I'm cooking them today, I don't wanna to put too much seasoning on because the type of rib that I'm making, I'm gonna get plenty of flavor and sweetness later on in the cook. So just give them a good covering as much as you want and then light yourself up a fire and get some coals nice and hot. I'm using a combination today of some charcoal as well as some charcoal briquettes. What I'm aiming to do today is achieve a hot and fast cook. I'm using some apple wood for some additional flavor. I've got all my vents open and I wanna get this thing up to 200 degrees. And then when I do, I'm just going to start to slow it down. But my target temperature throughout the whole cook is going to be 300 degrees for a hot and fast smoke. Time to hang my ribs. I've got two full racks and then I've got four half racks for this cook. Everyone knows a 3 2, one method with ribs, and I use it myself a lot of the time, but I wanna try and reduce the cook as much as I can. I'm gonna go for about 90 to 120 minutes of smoke, an hour wrapped, and then just a little bit of time at the end for when I'm glazing. So I've got some wood chunks, nice and warm. I'm chucking them in the fire. Let's get some smoke going throughout these ribs so I can get some beautiful flavor. And just look at that, absolutely beautiful already. Let's get going. Given the fact I'm going for a hotter cook, I need to pay close attention to the temperature. And after 45 minutes, not much more smoke coming through. That means the wood has burnt down. These things are getting some beautiful color. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a spray with some water now and then throw on another piece of wood chunk for some more beautiful smokiness. This is one feature of the Pit Boss Champion Barrel Smoker that I loved. I can open up the firebox, throw some additional wood in, shut it up nice and quickly, and I don't lose much heat. Nice and convenient. 90 minutes into the smoke, and just look at the color of these ribs. They look great. So traditionally with pork ribs, we like to wrap in something sweet, something like butter, apple juice, uh, brown sugar, things like that. But today I'm gonna to be wrapping in my Filipino pork rib recipe. Banana ketchup is the key ingredient here. Let's go and throw it together and then get these uh, pork ribs back into the smoker. I love making ribs a variety of ways. The traditional way, I love putting new flavors into the ribs as well. And this is one flavor that I love, the Filipino type of pork rib. Super easy to make. All you need to do is get yourself some white wine vinegar, some lemon juice, some soy sauce. You're supposed to use 7up, but hey, I've only got Sprite in the fridge today. That's what's gonna get used. And then lastly, you've got your banana sauce, otherwise known as banana ketchup. Very similar to tomato ketchup, except it's a little bit sweeter and it goes absolutely beautifully with your ribs. I'm wrapping up four ribs today, so I've made enough for what I think I need. Just give it a stir and then just put it to one side. Time now to go and get your ribs out of the smoker. Be careful here, the hooks are gonna be super hot. Remember, safety first. When I'm wrapping my ribs, I like to use this thicker aluminium foil for two reasons. Number one, it's easier to boat. And number two, it is that little bit thicker, so there's less chance in those bones poking holes into the aluminium foil. 
pour that beautiful orangey red colored liquid all over your ribs. We're into the tenderizing process now for these ribs. When I pulled them off, they were actually sitting at about 170 degrees Fahrenheit, so they were cooking really fast. What I wanna do now is just put the flavor into the ribs, wrap them up, and getting up to about just over 200 degrees. So now it's time to remove that hanging rack and put in my shelf. And I'm gonna put it in the middle so I'm closer to the actual thermometer there. As you can see, the sizing of these shelves are pretty generous. I've got all four racks of ribs on there quite easily and it comes with three shelves in total. After 30 to 40 minutes of being wrapped, I'm about the 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So time to turn my attention to my sauce. And this is another reason why I do like cooking in this Pit Boss Champion Bower Smoker because I can put another shelf on the top and cook something else at the same time. And what I'm doing for my sauce is I'm just gonna get some brown sugar, some Worcestershire sauce, I'm back to my banana sauce as well, and then I'm also going to put in some molasses. For the spices, I've got some onion powder, as well as some paprika, and then a little bit of salt and pepper, of course, as well. Give that a good stir, and then cook it in there, probably for some in the region of around 15 to 20 minutes. You don't wanna be lifting that lid too often, so just give it a stir, maybe once or twice at the most, and then after about 15, 20 minutes, you wanna pull it off and then just let it rest. Now that my ribs are hitting 200 degrees, what I'm going to do is move the ribs onto the top shelf. And the only reason why I'm gonna be doing that is because I'm a little bit further away from the heat, Plus, I'm going to be sourcing these ribs now as well, so it makes it a little bit easier for me. It's not so easy to hold a video camera and source some ribs, but I'm sure you get the picture here. Just give them a nice coating, as much as you want. Let that sauce thicken up. If you want it to be a little bit more sticky, but like I do, then you don't want to go for too long. I only did this for about 15 minutes and then it was ready to serve. Time to pull them off, cut them up and give them a taste test. These ribs, in my opinion, they are glistening, they are shining, they look beautiful. So here we have our hot and fast ribs, which have been smoked in the Pit Boss Barrel Smoker. Let's cut into them. Pick up one of these ribs. They've got an absolutely beautiful color, some lovely smoke, the flavor from all the Filipino ingredients that I put into this. It, it's got a lovely bark on it. Let's dig in and give this one a go. That's a good rib. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. It's sticky. It's delicious. It's got a beautiful smoked colour. Goodness me. Well, I'm going to go dig into these. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Beautiful tasting pork ribs in only three and a half hours. I was super impressed with how these turned out. The flavor was great. I didn't have to wait six hours for some beautiful tasting pork ribs. I loved it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. See you soon.